Hello, we are the Oil, Gas, and Salt Resources Library. And in this video series, we're going to be going through creating a virtual reality app to inspect uh, geologic data uh, taken from normal GIS or geologic modeling software. And we want to bring this data into a virtual reality platform in order to inspect the geometry in uh, 3D, stereoscopic 3D, and see if we can get some insights that we can't see normally just looking at our 2D screens or just looking at our numeric data. And we also are going to add the ability in this video series to query and place data on top of those 3D models so we can get a really immersive 3D experience. Uh, I'm here with our team. We have Kira and Neneva, who are our computer science uh, team. And we have Matt also, who's our art director on the project, helping us with music and visuals. And I'm Jordan. I'm helping with 3D modeling and some of the asset creation on this project. And I'll turn it over to our computer science team to talk more about the hardware and software that we're going to be using to develop this project. All right, so before we get into um, the specifics of setting up our first project, um, we're going to need uh, some specific hardware. So first of all, a computer with appropriate hardware for game development, which would be a multi-core with minimum eight gigabytes of RAM. Um, we recommend 16 gigabytes of RAM. Um, we're going to be using the Oculus Quest and touch controllers for our app. And we're also going to need the Oculus Link cable or any other high quality USB 3 connection cable. And then also a tablet or a smartphone for streaming the headset um, and to use the Oculus app. Thanks, Kira. I just wanted to touch on one point there. We talked about a gaming uh, software or game design. We explored a bunch of different options for getting an app to run inside of a virtual reality headset and found that if we wanted to make our own really custom app, a game design software was probably the best way to interact with these 3D assets. And because we want to create a really custom experience, that's what we're going to try to walk through. So um, now I'll discuss some of the software we're going to need. Um, so we'll need Unity Hub uh, and Game Engine. We're using uh, version 2019.3.15 with Android build support. We're also going to need Visual Studio Code Editor to edit and write any of the code that we'll be using in our app. Um, we're going to need the Oculus Link software, um, the OVR metrics tool, which is optional if you want to see some metrics inside the headset, such as frames per second of your app. Blender 3D software, which is optional if you want to be making your own 3D models. Um, the Oculus phone application, the Android ADB package, if it's not included in the Android build support, which it wasn't for us, so he, we had to install it separately. This is all assuming that you have your 3D and 2D GIS assets already created. For the creation of 3D assets, we're using LeapFrog to make our 3D volumes. And for 2D assets, we're primarily using QGIS. So later on in the series, I'll be uh, discussing some of the more immersive elements, uh, such as sound effects, 360 audio, uh, 360 video, and photospheres, and some of the music I'll be creating for the VR map. We used a GoPro Fusion to capture 360 video of some of the locations we'll be bringing into the project. And uh, we've recorded sound effects with a Zoom recorder. And uh, the music I'm making is using software called Reaper, which uh, allows you to bring various MIDI instruments and uh, edit them on a timeline. So Nineveh, can you maybe talk a little bit about the project that we're building? So basically, in this tutorial, we're going to create a simple scene where you can explore the surface of Ontario's Precambrian layer in virtual reality. Every project in Unity contains at least one scene, and this, the scene is the environment of our game and what the player will see inside the headset. So the Oculus Assets folder is full of prefabs and scripts to help us interact with the scene inside VR. And prefabs are just uh, packaged game objects that contain different 2D, 3D components, materials, textures, scripts, and they're all compiled into one package. So we're going to get into how to build the scene together right now. 
Um, so before we get into setting up our first scene, you're going to want to make sure um, all the required programs are installed and you've created an Oculus account. And then in the Oculus app, you're going to want to connect to the headset via Bluetooth and turn on developer mode in settings. So to get started with our first Unity project, we're going to open up Unity Hub and select Create New 3D Project and just give it a name. And the first thing we'll do in our new project is go to the Asset uh, Store tab. And we're going to download and import Oculus integration or the Oculus integration package into the project. We should mention that installation does take quite a while, so be patient with it. So the integration package will add these folders here for you once you've installed it. We're now going to go into the file tab and hit build settings. And we're going to need to change the platform to Android since Oculus uses Android technology. Set the texture compression to ASTC and the ETC2 fallback to 32 bit and then click switch platform. We're just following a lot of the standards here uh, for standard um, Oculus integration setup. So now we are going to hit player settings and go into XR plugin management and install the XR plugin management. And then once this is installed, uh, we're gonna make sure under both PC and Android that Oculus is checked off under plugin providers. So next we're gonna go under the window tab and check that the following packages are installed in your project. So you're gonna need the Oculus XR plugin, Unity UI and Visual Studio Code Editor. So next we're gonna get into adding the player to the scene. So we're gonna add the OVR player controller prefab which contains the OVR camera rig asset. And this camera is gonna act as our virtual eyes and the OVR player controller will act as the player's body, giving us the ability to see and move around the scene. So we can delete the main camera that comes with the default scene as the OVR camera rig will be the VR equivalent. So if we want our player's features to be visible in the scene, um, we're gonna need to add the local avatar prefab to the OVR player controller under tracking space, and this will render the player's avatar. And we're going to disable the enable hands expressive and base features in capabilities. So now we're going to uh, add the hand prefabs to our player controller. So we're going to search for the custom left and right hand prefabs and attach them both to the left hand anchor and right hand anchor respectively. So the custom hand prefabs come with two scripts, the hand and the OVR grabber which allow us to flex the fingers on the hands and also grab onto objects. So under the OVR grabber script, also make sure that the parent held object box is checked off. Yeah, it's very convenient that Unity ships with uh, prefabs that let you do a lot of the things that you'd wanna do in virtual reality uh, already created for you, like using your hands as controllers and grabbing things. So here we are inserting our Precambrian layer into the scene, but you could also just add any other terrain game object that you'd like. And this file is an OBJ format, pretty much exported directly from LeapFrog. We did bring it into Blender and uh, decimate it a little bit to get rid of some of the geometry, just so it's a bit more efficient. The object does have about 100,000 triangles in it still. Uh, the original object from LeapFrog had about 4 million, so we definitely needed to get that down. 100,000 is, is the limit that we're seeing in most places. So to make sure that our player can walk on our layer, we are adding a mesh collider, and we are referencing that mesh from the model right now. So here I am just positioning the OVR player controller and using the center eye anchor camera preview to see where I want to place my player at the start of the scene. Yeah, it's convenient that the, the player prefab comes with the, the camera that automatically tracks to your headset. So you don't have to set any of that up either in, in Unity, which is nice. 
Yeah, so here I'm adding a cube object, which is going to be our box that we're going to be able to grab and interact with in the scene. So we're making sure that ha that has a box collider on it, as well as a rigid body component with the is gravity box checked off. And for virtual reality in particular with Oculus, any object that you want to be grabbable by the hands prefab, you need to add the OVR grabbable script, which I am doing right here. And you're gonna set the grab points to be the box collider on the cube. So that lets the uh, hand script know that it is touching something that wants to be grabbed by the controllers. So I'm going to add a skybox element to the center eye anchor under the OVR player controller. And I'm going to change the background or the sky of our scene to be this cool matrix looking image. That's just gonna add a little more detail to our scene. And you can see in the camera preview that it shows up in the background. This is basically what our scene is going to look like. So to build it onto the headset, uh, we're first going to need to turn the headset on fully before plugging it into the computer using the link cable. And once we have that, we're going to go into build settings, make sure you have the Oculus Quest device listed as the default device and you can click build and run and then after the first build and run anytime you make any changes to the application or some adjustments you can just go right into the file tab and click build and run and that will automatically load it back onto the headset as long as it's still plugged in okay good so in this video we've created a blank unity project to run inside an oculus quest headset We've imported a 3D layer. It's a wavefront.obj. Demonstrated how to put a player uh, with a camera that tracks your headset motion into the scene. Put some hands into uh, the player that can interact with any objects in the scene that are grabbable. We placed a grabbable object and applied the grabbable script. So we have all the basics of getting an object into a scene where we can look at the geometry and, and grab a few things in there. What we're gonna be looking at in the next videos are adding some data to this scene so we can actually touch this uh, formation and get some data about the wells and borings that exist near the places where we tap on this formation. And through a combination of being able to inspect the formation three-dimensionally in a stereoscopic view and being able to tap on it for data in different points, we hope that this will allow the users to get some new insights about the geology of these formations. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.